Keto lemon cookies is what we've got on tap today. And these cookies, they are so soft, so chewy, so easy to make, and so darn refreshing. And best of all, they are just so low carb. Each one of these cookies has just one net carb. So with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. Make these low carb keto cookies. All right, the first thing we're going to do is a little prep work. So as you're seeing here, we're gonna cube up a stick or 112 grams of some salted butter. And then we're gonna melt that down really quick in our microwave. Then we're going to give a large egg a good spin. And yes, that's very important. And then we're gonna crack and add it to a medium sized bowl. Now, once we've got that in there, we're gonna add the melted butter that we just prepped along with a teaspoon or four grams of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna add the lemon flavor to our keto cookies. And as you're seeing here, we're gonna do that by adding the juice of one half of a medium sized lemon. Now, once you've given that lemon a good squeeze, we're gonna get out a whisk and we're gonna whiskify all of our liquid ingredients together until they're combined. Then when they are, we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna get out an even larger bowl and start adding the dry ingredients for our keto lemon cookies. With that said, as you're seeing here, the first ingredient we're gonna add to the bowl is going to be some blanched almond flour and we're gonna be adding a heaping two cups or 236 grams of it for today's recipe. So once you got that in there, we're gonna sweeten up our low carb cookies by adding some confectioner swerve since it has zero net carbs and zero calories. And for our keto cookies today, we'll wanna sift in and use a half a cup or 80 grams of it. Then when we've sifted that in there, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon or two grams of baking powder, and then we're gonna use a whisk to combine all of our dry ingredients together. Now, when we've got that looking good, we're gonna pour in our wet ingredients, and then we're gonna use a spatula to mix those together until a thick cookie dough batter forms like this. Then when that's looking how we want it, we're going to refrigerate our dough for about an hour. Now, after we've chilled the dough, we can preheat our oven to 300 degrees, and then we can start shaping and forming our keto lemon cookies from the dough. With that said, if you use a tablespoon sized cookie scoop like I'm using, you should end up with about 16 keto lemon cookies. And as you're seeing here, after you've shaped those cookies, you wanna add them to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and then bake them for around 15 to 18-ish minutes. Then we're gonna let them cool down on the tray that we bake them on because they're gonna be very soft at this point and need some time to firm up. And then when they've had that time to set and harden, we're gonna transfer them to a wire rack to finish cooling. Now, once the cookies have cooled, I like to make a quick glaze to cover them in. So in a small bowl, I'm gonna sift in a quarter cup or 40 grams of confectioner swerve, along with the juice from the other half of the lemon that we used to make the cookies. And then I'm also going to add a half a tablespoon or seven grams of some almond milk to the bowl as well. Then I'm just gonna mix those up with my spatula, dunk all of my cookies one by one into that glaze, and then let them air dry on the baking sheet I used earlier. And that, my friends, is how to make some incredibly delicious keto lemon cookies. I hope you guys enjoy these. They are incredibly soft and chewy and just oh so refreshing. As always, for more info on today's low-carb cookie recipe, check out the video description below, and I'll see you in the next one.